Pittsburgh Paints and Stains Revitalize Wood and Concrete Resurfacer is the ultimate remedy for weathered or damaged wood and concrete. Give new life to time-worn wood and concrete. Revitalize Resurfacer is a high-performing 100% acrylic product with a flexible crack bridging formula to uniformly seal when the wood contracts or expands due to changes in temperature. One gallon covers up to 50 square feet in two coats and can be tinted to over 130 solid stain colors. Applying revitalized wood and concrete resurfacer is easy. Let's show you how. Your wood surface must be clean and dry. Complete all of the following steps to get rid of any loose wood, wood fibers, dirt, grease, mildew, or algae. Step 1. Scrape to remove peeling paint or stain. Step 2. Remove all loose splinters and replace any rotting or severely damaged boards. Step 3. Secure loose deck screws, raised nail heads, or loose decking boards. Step 4. Spray on Pittsburgh Paints and Stains Deck Cleaner. Wait about 5 to 10 minutes and rinse well to remove cleaning product residue and any contaminants. Repeat cleaning steps as many times as necessary to remove all dirt, mildew, grease, or algae. Step 5. Pressure wash using low to moderate pressure. Be sure to familiarize yourself with your pressure washer prior to beginning the cleaning process. Allow the wood to dry completely. To ensure your wood surface is dry enough to apply Revitalize, you can test for condensation. Tape an 18 by 5 inch area of clear plastic sheeting on all four sides to a single deck board. Avoid placing the protected area in direct sunlight. If after 16 hours any condensation is found under the plastic, or if the surface of the deck is visibly darkened, then the surface is too wet. Cold weather and temperature swings may affect the test, but obvious moisture always indicates a problem. If the plastic is dry, then you're ready to begin applying the first coat of Revitalize. Sometimes loose wood fibers can't be seen until the wood is cleaned. To ensure that you've created a smooth surface without any loose pieces lingering, Simply use a putty knife or other sharp blade to lightly cut a small X in two or three random spots on the surface. Be careful not to cut too deeply into the wood. Cover the cuts with duct tape and press down firmly on the tape. Then quickly remove the tape. If any flakes of old wood stain or wood fibers are stuck on the tape, your wood needs to be stripped before you stain. Use coarse sandpaper to remove any loose wood fibers and then remove all sanding dust. Step 6. Fill wood cracks and depressions deeper than one quarter inch with an exterior paintable sealant caulk. Be sure to check the weather report before applying Revitalize Resurfacer. The ideal temperature for application is between 50 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Avoid applying Revitalize in direct sunlight on hot surfaces, or if rain is expected within 24 hours of applying each coat. After you've cleaned the wood and it's thoroughly dried, it's a good time to stain all of your vertical surfaces, such as railings, lattice, or trim. You can also apply Revitalize Resurfacer to vertical surfaces or use Ultra Advanced Solid Color Stain. Here we will apply two coats of Ultra Advanced Solid Color Stain tinted in California Rustic to the underside, stair risers, and on the railings. Applying the first coat. Step 1. Thoroughly stir the product in the container Combine gallons into a larger container to ensure color consistency. Then pour a generous amount of product into the rolling tray. 
Step two, before rolling on the first coat, use a high quality brush to dab into cracks, gaps, nail or screw holes, and knots until filled. For cupped, cracked, or warped boards, drive the product into cracks by rolling across the narrow width as well as the length of the board. Step three, lightly brush any product that drips between the boards. Step four, cut in around the edges of the deck surface with a brush using a short dabbing stroke. Step five, fully saturate a half inch nap roller by rolling back and forth in the tray. A fully loaded roller will cover an area of approximately five to seven feet using light and even pressure. Apply Revitalize to a few boards or to a few square feet at a time, keeping a wet edge to avoid lap marks. Lightly back brush after rolling for a smoother appearance. Allow a minimum of six hours for the first coat to dry. Applying the second coat. Cut in with a light dabbing stroke around the edges of the entire deck surface. Roll out as we did for the first coat. Fully saturate the roller by rolling back and forth in the tray using a slight even pressure and slowly apply the product to a few boards at a time, keeping a wet edge. Lightly brush any product that drips in between the decking boards. Again, for a smoother appearance, lightly back brush. Allow the final coat to dry 48 hours before any foot traffic, and 72 hours before replacing furniture or heavy objects and potted plants. If the surface remains tacky, allow more time to dry. Avoid heavy use for 30 days to allow full cure to a hard finish. In just a few days, Pittsburgh Paints and Stains Revitalize Wood and Concrete Resurfacer can simply turn your weathered wood into a beautiful outdoor living space. So if your wood deck, porch, or stairs are worn or weathered, don't replace it, revitalize. For more details, visit PittsburghPaintsAndStains.com.